Hello and welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. My name is Raja and in this video we're going to learn about mouse inverts. And in the last video I have already discussed a way by which you can take uh, mouse input by using the input.get button down function. But Unity has a specific, uh, some specific set of functions by which you can also take mouse inputs. Those are specific for mouses. So let's see what are those. So if you write, if you write input dot get mouse button, as you can see here we have three options, mouse button, mouse button down and mouse button up. Among them we are interested in mouse button down. And if we write that, as you can see it's a function. So if I write the first bracket as you can see it takes a parameter and as a parameter it takes an integer that is button so this integer specifies the button number so inside this I need to specify which button of the mouse I have pressed so I can write 0 or 1 or maybe 2 so the 0 mouse button represents the left click of the mouse 0 represents the left click, 1 represents the right click and 2 probably represents if you have a third mouse button then 2 represents that or otherwise probably it represents the mouse wheel. So let's take a look at everything, all, the, all of those one by one. So if I just write 0 here and again I write if input dot get button down 0 then in debug log I'm gonna write left mouse button pressed okay and the same way I'm gonna just copy this one and paste it right in there and this time instead of 0 I'm gonna write 1 and here I'm gonna write right right mouse button pressed Again, paste it one more time, and this time I'm going to write 2 here, and this time I'm going to write middle mouse button pressed. So as you can see, inside this get mouse button down function, we have to pass the number or the button number that we are pressing so that we can check if that particular button of the mouse has been pressed. So let's take a look at this. So if I run this right now and go to window console and if I click my left mouse button as you can see it says left mouse button pressed. Now if I press the right mouse button it says right mouse button pressed and if I press my mouse wheel that is my middle mouse button or my mouse wheel and if you have a third mouse button probably you are using a Mac or something or if you have a third mouse button then you can press that. Currently I am pressing the mouse wheel in my mouse and it says middle mouse button pressed so left right middle so this is uh, the easiest way to uh, take mouse inputs now another thing that I want to talk about in this video is getting the position of the mouse we already learned how to take the input from the mouse so let's now learn about the position of the mouse so how can we get the position in order to get the position of the mouse we need to uh, use another function not a function but uh, we can use input dot mouse position and this is a vector 3 and inside this vector 3 we have the mouse position x mouse position y and mouse position z so if you want to get the so okay first of all let's create a vector 3 vector 3 and let's name it mouse pose oh, excuse me and inside that oops I have written v small so let's create a vector 3 named mouse pose and inside that let's store the position of the mouse by writing input dot mouse position so since it's a vector 3 so this vector 3 will be copied inside this and from this we can check the mouse position and now let's debug log debug.log 
and inside that first of all let us write mouse pose dot x that is the x position of the mouse oops and then write debug dot debug dot log and mouse oops mouse pose dot y and this will print the y position of the mouse so uh, in this way it will print the mouse position the x and y position of the mouse every frame so let's take a look at that let me clear these things up as you can see it always present it always prints the x and y position of the mouse but instead of that what if we want to print that only when we press the left mouse button so let's take this code right click cut or press ctrl x and move it here inside this function inside this if statement so now what will happen is whenever the zeroth button of my mouse is pressed or the left click or the left button of my mouse is pressed then it will print the x and y position of the mouse okay so let's go and check it out let's clear it now and if I just move it right here now I have my mouse in that top left corner if I click here okay there's some problem I guess mouse position put mouse position okay I have to play first <laughs> I haven't played and I'm checking that so as you can see if I have my mouse at the left top left corner if I click here as you can see the X position is zero since the uh, since the position starts from here and it's zero and if I give it right here and if I press it as you can see both are almost zero oh, let me go here ah yes so this is the top this is the bottom left corner and here as you can see the x position is zero the y position is also zero and if i click in on the middle as you can see the x and y positions are almost similar and if i click on the top right the x and y positions will be maximum so as you can see this is the x position let me clear it so this is the x position and this is the y position of the mouse so currently my mouse is at the left so my x position will be zero and y position will be something so let me press it as you can see since it is the ex it is in the extreme left so the x position of the mouse is zero and the y position is 161 and as you can see if I click it here now here the y position will be zero and it's not zero okay uh, I can't make it to zero yes the y position is 0 and the x position is 332 so in this way we can get the position of the mouse and we can do a lot of important things with that so i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you enjoyed this video learn something so thank you very very much for watching and have a great day see you in the next video thanks for watching